Good evening, old chaps. Today I shall be recounting a traditional English tale, the tale of Sir George and the Dragon. Once upon a time, in the beautiful town of Rygate, there was a large dragon flying overhead. And he said to himself, by Jove, that is a lovely town. I just have to get a house there. And so he flies down, and he speaks to the mayor, and he asks, well, I would like to live here. What What can you do for me? And the mayor says, well, I'm, I'm sorry, Mr. Dragon, but, I mean, housing's awfully expensive. And the dragon says, not a problem. I shall live in a cave on the suburbs. It, it's completely fine. And the mayor says, well, what are you going to do for food? I don't think we've got enough here for you. And the dragon says, no, nah, no problem. I'll, I'll sort it out. And so the dragon went off to live in the cave. And the townsfolk noticed that all their sheep were going missing. And so the mayor goes over to the dragon, and he asks, Are, are sheep are missing? Do you know anything about this? And the dragon says, Your sheep? Oh, I'm sorry, I thought they were communal sheep. Well, I, I shall stop eating your sheep now, I'm sorry. And the mayor says, Well, of course you're going to stop eating our sheep, you've eaten them all. There's no more sheep left to eat. And the dragon says, Well, I'm awfully sorry, but a dragon's got to eat, you know. But uh, I'll, I'll sort something out, I'll make arrangements, it'll be fine. But later, the townspeople noticed that their horses were going missing. So the mayor goes to the dragon, and he says, I I'm sorry, but you just can't eat our horses as well as our sheep. And the dragon says, Well, I'm awfully sorry, I thought they were communal horses. Tell you what, how about I eat one person from your village every other week, and then we we shall all be fine. But the mayor says, well, actually, I think that might solve unemployment. I think you've got yourself a deal, Mr. Dragon. And from then on, the people of Rygate drew a lottery every two weeks to decide who would be eaten by the dragon. And this system worked out very well for a while, until one day, the mayor's daughter's name was taken for the lottery. And the mayor says, well, I I'm sorry, I'm just not sure this this whole system is working out. I mean, it it's, it's not helping anyone. And his daughter says, Dad, it's like there's one rule for the poor and another one for the rich. And the Conservative Party isn't even a thing yet. D d I'll, I'll go. D just uh, Don't worry about it. It'll be fine. And so the mayor's daughter was taken off to be eaten by the dragon. But a young lad named St. George said, Well, well, look here. How about I kill the dragon? The mayor says, Well, that's not particularly sporting of you, but well, seeing as my daughter's life's on the line, I suppose I can permit it. So George donned his armour and drew his blade and went to the dragon. He said to the dragon, Dragon, would you mind not eating our people? And the dragon says, well, I'm awfully sorry. I thought they were communal people. I'm, I had a deal with your mayor. And George says, well, it's not working out too well. I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry, but I'm afraid I'm going to have to kill you. And the dragon says, well, you can certainly try, but I, I warn you, I'm very good. And at that moment, George just lopped his head off. The dragon was smitten, and so George took the mayor's daughter home. He says, well, I've solved your little dragon problem now. Is there anything else I can do for you? And the mayor says, oh, no, thank you, George. That'll be all, but... Uh, well, it's an awfully great thing you've done. I think you ought to become Sir George now. Maybe even Saint George. Maybe you should be the patron saint of England. George says, oh, that's a frightfully good idea, but I, I just get the feeling that maybe the patron saint of England should be someone that's never actually been to the place. I mean, considering our national animal is a lion, which we don't have over here, I just think we ought to keep the theme. The mayor says, oh, yes, you might have a point there. Oh, well, I guess we better end the story. So let's all live happily ever after, shall we? And there we have the tale of Sir George and the Dragon.